For those of you that don't understand the ministry, the office, the call, the gift, the anointing of the apostle, I want to help you with regard to that. Now, the apostle carries what we know as the breaker anointing. They cause God's people to break through into new territory, into new regions, and to to propagate the gospel, and to pioneer the gospel in different regions, cities, countries, nations throughout the earth. Okay, God's people that connect for those believers, those Christians that connect to apostolic and prophetic men and women, they are benefactors. They benefit from this breaker anointing. God imparts breakthrough in the lives of his people that support and stand with the ministry of apostles. Apostles are governmental ministries. Okay, they release and manifest the government of God and establish the kingdom of God and lead countless souls into relationship with God. Apostolic ministry is a ministry of warfare. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ himself Himself, he was an apostle. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the high priest and he is the apostle and high priest of our profession. The apostle, the word apostle, in fact, means a, a sent one, one that is sent. Jesus said it best. He said, as my father has sent me, even so I send you. Jesus was sent by the father and Jesus had 12 apostles whom he sent to the nations. And I'm telling you right now, notice he did not start this thing. Christianity was not birthed with 12 pastors or 12 evangelists or 12 bishops or 12 uh, 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 teachers or prophets, if you will. But he chose, and we thank God for those ministries. Let me say that. But Jesus chose 12 apostles. You see that there's a greater dimension of his presence. There's a, dim, a greater dimension of God's power, his, uh, his anointing, his presence, his glory, and his government manifested through the lives and his authority as well through the apostle. That's right. You must understand that. Let me reiterate that. The apostle carries a, a greater dimension, a greater manifestation, a greater revelation of God's wisdom and his resources and his power and his anointing and his authority and glory and God's governmental influence. It's manifested in a greater capacity through the life and office and ministry of the apostle. The apostolic ministry, as I said, is a ministry of warfare. It is a ministry of confrontation. It is a ministry that commands, it mobilizes and rallies the soldiers of God, the the troops, the army of God to challenge and pull down demonic strongholds and territorial spirits of the enemy over certain geographic regions and locations, different cities, even over churches and and people's lives. Apostles break through. They're able to break things off of people's lives. I'm telling you right now, the apostolic anointing invades territories. The apostolic anointing has the ability to pioneer and to go It is a pioneering anointing. It is a church planting anointing, a healing miracle signs and wonder anointing, an anointing of grace and wisdom and revelation and great authority. The apostolic anointing plants churches, strengthens churches and builds strong churches. Hallelujah. Apostles point men and women to Jesus. Apostles are humble. We only want to seek to glorify Jesus. We want to promote Jesus. We want to exalt Jesus. We want to extol Jesus. We want to magnify Jesus. We want to build people's lives for Jesus. We want to preach, propagate, proclaim and preach Jesus. Present Jesus. Proclaim Jesus. I'm telling you right now, beloved. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus, the Lamb of God and the Lion of the tribe of Judah. To him be royalty, magnificence, majesty, dominion, glory, beauty, holiness and power forevermore.